Have you been trying so many different ways to take care of your irritable bowel syndrome, like changing your diet, taking different supplements to support your gut, um, meditate to manage your stress, and also working on your third chakra issues, but somehow the symptom is still lingering? Perhaps there's one more step to help you to complete your healing and to heal it for good. I want to introduce you to this very simple, easy, and a very effective technique that draw from facial diagnostic by working on the energy points and energy location in our face that reflecting the part in our body or our organs and also sending signals to our brain that corresponding to those areas and organs in our body. So by doing that, we provoke our body self-regulation and self-healing so it can on its own momentum to heal itself. And of course, while doing that, you still maintain your healthy diet um, just to help your body to, to find its way to heal. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to get all the steps that I'm going to show you today. Hi, it's Van Somji here. For those who are new to Aki Reflexology, we are going to need a simple tool that I'm going to attach the link for you below so you can get access to the uh, proper tool to work on. If, if you can have one tool, I would say um, this is, would be really good to have. And then once you get familiar with the technique, you can always add more to your collection. And Tiger Balm, it's also very essential and it comes in solid form. So what happened with solid form, it doesn't run. So it stay um, in the target areas that we are working on. All right, so we can, um, let's get to it. First step, we are going to open the energy gates. It's a main energy gate in our body. In Eastern medicine, we believe that the main energy channel is like a main highway. When the main highway open, it helps to direct the traffic from all the small channels that need healing. So it has, it has a way to flow. Once it's blocked, it kind of create backlog, and then the illnesses and, and sickness sets in, and it's become chaotic. So we're gonna, we're gonna open um, the energy gates. So if you look at the diagram, you will see that I highlighted uh, all the energy point. It started with your coccyx. So what you do is you take a dab. Of course, you sanitize and clean your hands and your tools very thoroughly before we start, okay? Then um, you can dab a little bit of the tiger balm on your finger. You don't need a lot. I would say um, just a small dab like this would be sufficient. And you can always take out a little bit more so you don't have to re-dip your tool in it. So you take a little bit on your finger, two or three middle finger, and you start massaging like in a circle of motion. So about 20 to 30 times on your coccyx. And then you're moving up to your sacrum doing the same and um, and then sometime I add another point with, between your kidney that's just a bonus point if you feel like that area of intuitive if you tune in you feel that you need to open that area up then between your shoulder behind your heart center there's the between your shoulder blade so that's another energy point and then we moving up to C6 or C7 your spinal cord and then you just take the little bit of a tiger balm and massage it in that area and about like a loony size or toony size and then you massage it <laughs> toony we in Canada so we have toony and loony but um, the size is about a golf ball and then you just massage the area 20 to 30 times and then we're moving up to the base of your head which is right here and you feel that there's a two bones in between there's a there's a dent at the base of your head you do the same you massage 20 to 30 times and the very last energy point is on the top of your head you feel like there's a small slightly dent area you that would be the place that where you put it just a little bit of tile bomb you don't need a lot and then you massage it 20 to 30 times to have to promote um, the opening of the energy center and then we're moving on to the front side of your face that would complete the energy gate. The first point is uh, you just dab a very little tiger balm on your tip of your pen and then you find the areas right here in the center. If you divide your forehead by half either way, you find the centers right here. You've, that would be your number 103. I, um, but you see it on the diagram. I also 
copy all the PDF for free below on the links so you can get access to it. So with this energy point, you do three push, one, two, three. So the pressure would be like light, light, medium. So make sure that there's, you have like one push that it's kind of, you can feel the little bit of the pain. Now sometimes when the energy really block, when you touch the two, it's really painful there, but that's okay because as um, the more you work on, the more you will clear that energy blockage. All right, and the next one is uh, below this number 103, you divide this area by half, then you'll get number 106. You do the same, you do three push, one, two, three. And then we're looking for the number 300. So you divide your forehead by four horizontal line. You're gonna find the top quarter here. And the straight line, what we draw from is the center of your iris. You draw the line up, and then you meet the number 300 on both sides. So you're gonna do one side first, and then you move to the other side. One, two, three. And then you do one, two, three. So that would be uh, complete the, the opening of the main gate. So now we're moving on to, if you look at the diagram here that's showing the map of the face where it's reflecting uh, different organs, all the organs in our body that red show up on our face. So now in this diagram, you can do it or without the tiger bomb. It's up to you. But if, if you do, do it very, very, very little because I don't, because it can get really hot. So the technique we are using is called scratching the surface. Now, with scratching the surface rule, there's a few rules to it. Lightly scratch, consistent speed, fast stroke, and do not lift the pen off your skin while you're working on the target areas, all right? And the stroke is very close to each other in continuity. So let's target on, the first is the stomach. Stomach is number four. If you're looking on the left side, of your nose it's starting from your from the top of your nose wings it coming down this way that just above your left line and then it's it's kind of like landed in a in the halfway through your lips so it's like if you look at the picture it's like around here and then it's ending to the other side of your nose so it's like this the shape the shape of the stomach so now Starting from here, you're going to do the scratching the surface. So you do the stroke very fast, very consistent, and have some contact on the skin. So you, it's like you're painting this area with the color. So you do this, and then you're just like scratching it, hold it close, and then scratching it around. And sometimes you're going to find that it's really painful. And if you find the areas are painful, just stay with it and stay in that painful area and scratching it until you complete painting these areas with this acupen, then you can stop. And then we're moving on to the large intestine. So the large intestine is, is located on both sides of, of, your, of your mouth. It's starting from below your stomach, and then it's connecting all the way here to, the, to half of your chin. The width would be about um, a, a third of an inch. So you starting from one side, and then you start you start where it connect with your stomach and then you paint the whole area so you do it very consistent and the stroke is very close to each other do not lift the pen off your skin and do it fast consistent until you paint the whole area and then you're moving to this side to complete your your other side of your large intestine so try not to miss out any part of the large intestine and it ends right halfway all right so that would be your large intestine now the small intestine is basically is half bottom of your upper lips here and it's the whole area around your lips it ends right here bottom of your chins same thing you do in the in the red color zone so you must massage scratching the whole area like you're painting 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 like scratch it consistent do not lift it off the skin so you have the picture in front of you and you just color it doing like you're coloring your book because that helps to stimulate the whole area of your small intestine to help the energy to awaken and start doing its own work so just keep stimulate like you massage you're giving your um, small intestine a massage so doing keep doing the massage and if it's painful 
then then it's okay your body communicating with you and if the areas that you feel painful go back to it and pay more attention to the pain area because that's probably the part that is inflamed in your uh, small intestine all right so when you're done we are working on the liver so now we are working on the liver parts if you look in the diagram the liver part starting from the top of your nose wings you draw the line down just above your left line and then the bottom of it is also from the bottom of your nose wings you draw it out it ends where the end of your eye if you draw the vertical line down from the corner outer corner of your eye you draw it down and then the top of your nose wing and then the bottom of your nose wing you draw the line you get this whole area here just like the diagram that's showing on the green part that would be your liver so start scratching these areas in a fast consistent and tight stroke so you do this and give it enough contact so you can feel it in your skin and you can feel the triggering and then you can feel the nerves underneath that there's some part is really lumpy and it's not smooth that so pay more attention to to it and stay there and keep giving more scratching and pressure on those areas that are lumpy and if it's have the point that it's really hurt stay there a little bit longer and I keep doing that until you reach all the way to the end here that in line with your outer corner of your eye so you keep doing that until you painted the whole area all right so that would be the liver so moving on to the spleen part if you look at the diagram the spleen is on the left side of our body and it's right above corner above your stomach so your stomach is going like this the spleen is right directly below your iris and then it, it landed right here it's just along your nose wings in this areas so you can do the scratching really stimulate this area it's like you're giving your spleen massage do it for about 30 counts and you can pause the video and come back to me when you're done 30 counts so do the whole sequence twice a day or three times a day if your condition has been there for a very long time I want to remind you that acureflexology or facial diagnostic doesn't interfere with any other treatment that you are on so while you're doing your other treatment or if you feel that your treatment is plateau and you want to introduce this um, technique and method into your healing journey it's really great it's safe and it's very effective and you can use that as a supplement remember that I am NOT a doctor and I'm not an expert but I found that acupreflexology and facial diagnostic it's so effective and simple and it's a great alternative treatment that I want to share with you I found that it's quite successful in the past when I'm using it for myself and for clients if you find value in what I just shared go ahead and give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you feel like to have a weekly healing tips that I am going to share with you it's my honor to be part of your healing journey be kind to yourself be patient but be consistent and do your best and your best is enough and I will see you in the next video